Hi, and welcome to our community. Susie Thomas with you this morning. So happy to welcome Tanisha James. She is the Mission Outreach Coordinator at Mercy Medical Center. Good morning. Good morning, Susie. It's a pleasure to be here today. Well, we appreciate your taking the time to spend some time with us. I don't think many people know that a, a hospital has something called a Mission Outreach Coordinator. So you've been there how long now? I've been there. It'll be three years in February. And tell me what you do, Tanisha. I plan the health education and outreach programs for the community and in the schools. So you spend a lot of your time going where? Everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like it. So I go to a lot of community events. Um, other lo- other Mercy locations where we might host an event and also the main campus and also with uh, Canton City Schools. What kinds of things do you teach when you're out and about? Well, I don't necessarily teach. Mm-hmm. I coordinate and facilitate the learning and then I bring in other people from other departments from Mercy, like nurses and dentists and dietitians and things like that. This is very cool. To provide cool. the education. You're the point person. Yes. And then you set it up to be able to bring like a dentist in to speak to some elementary school children on, yes, and I on dental health. Plan it out, set everything up and make sure everyone has what they need. And then I'm there the day of just to make sure everything flows accordingly. That does make you do an awful lot of running around. So <laughs> I'm thinking two things. First of all, you must know everyone in town. And second, you must know everything going on in the health, in the world of health. Not everything, but I will say a lot. Because <laughs> you get to sit in and listen to all of yes, these, don't you? I take a lot of notes. <laughs> who, um, who have you been surprised that have contacted you and said, we want somebody to come speak to us? Is there a business or an organization in town that you thought, wow, okay, cool? Surprised? Not so much, huh? No. Everybody, it makes sense. Yes. Good. Yes, no surprises so far. <laughs> uh, okay. But um, I'm thinking that uh, like an organization, a business could have you come in and talk about flu season and um, I mean, not you, but to have someone. Yes. If it was a business, I believe that they would reach out to our PR department. Mm-hmm. So me, I'm, I strictly handle the community and the schools and, and other other community organizations. And other organizations. Mm-hmm. So I know one thing that usually the vice president or the program committee chairman is always responsible for, and just about every volunteer organization I've ever been in, is programs. You are the person that we need to contact. Yes. To set up some programs. Yes. What are the topics that are really hot right now? Um, well, coming up here for 2020, uh, we have monthly lunch and learns at our St. Paul Square location. Oh, uh, Mercy Medical Center at St. Paul Square. It's in Northeast Canton on Superior. Mm-hmm. And we have monthly lunch and learns that take place on the last Friday of every month. And what happens at those? And people come, community members come, they have a lunch, and they learn about a different health topic every month. Um, so some examples... Back in October, Mm -hmm. it was personal hygiene. A good offense is a best defense. And it talked about um, hand washing and other things to prevent the flu and how not to spread the flu and things like that. And um, for next year, we already have our schedule of lunch and learns. Oh, let's hear for the first quarter of next year. What's coming up? Yeah. So in January, it's waste not. Mm hmm. What's going to happen there? Well, it talks about, let's see, our Mercy Dietitian student intern, Ashley Scott, Uh she's going to give an informative presentation on food safety for everyone. So, And she'll talk about things like um, expiration dates, like, um, what is it, like? The use by yes, and the sell yes, by, yes. And, the, and I never can keep <laughs> I, all those straight. I get straight. so confused by all of those things. So I'm you really are excited not alone. Yeah. for this lunch and learn so I can <laughs> learn as well, you know, what all these things mean. And well, and sometimes this happened to me the other day. I came home. I got busy. I set things down on the counter. I walked away from it and realized I had not put yogurt in the refrigerator, and I'm trying to think, okay, how long has this been out? I've done that so many times. Oh, my goodness. Yes, because we get <laughs> sidetracked. Yes. So how long can things be out? We'll find out at the lunch and Absolutely. learn, right? Absolutely, and she'll 
have time for question and answer sessions and things like that. Great. And the lunch is always really delicious. And do we... around this time of year, we do hot lunch Ooh. in the wintertime, like soups and things like that, mm. comfort food for the wintertime. So. Somebody just tuned in and they said, this sounds great. Where is this taking place? Remind us where these take place. It is at Mercy at St. Paul Square. 1459 Superior Avenue, Northeast Canton, 44705. Awesome. And do we need to make reservations? I'm guessing since lunches have yes. being served. Yes. How do we do that? You can call me, Tanisha James, Mission Outreach Coordinator at 330-489-1307. Okay, and that'll go straight to you? Yes. Awesome. That number again is 330 489 one three oh seven. You mentioned that one of the most recent ones were you were talking about the importance of washing our hands so that we don't spread the flu. Yes. Do you find it amazing that we still have to hammer that message home because we still need to? The flu is still spreading Absolutely. and people still are you handle money mm-hmm. and then as you go through the drive through and then eat. Yes. And as a society, we're constantly in a rush. Yes. So it's good to remind people that you really should wash your hands for about two minutes. So that's like singing happy birthday, the ABCs or twinkle, twinkle little star. That's about how long you should be washing your hands. And a lot of people don't do that because we're all in a hurry. We are in a hurry. But that's a great reminder that just in our head, we don't have to have to actually be singing out loud. But in our head, if we go through one of those little songs while we wash our hands, then that does the trick. Yes. 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 What if you are not near, this is going to be so controversial, if you're not <laughs> near any soap and water, mm-hmm. those antibacterial little squirty tubes that we have in our purses do Mm -hmm. those help are they good I've heard both ways they do help but the trick is you don't want to substitute that for hand washing but in between time when you don't have access to water that does work well and the same rules apply okay two minutes fingertips in between the the finger fingers Mm -hmm. the wrists the palms and the back of the hands under the nails no, you Not can't so really important. get under the nails okay. with, with the hand sanitizer. You can try. All right. <laughs> yeah. If you put a lot on yes. <laughs> and really goop it up, then. All right. But that's the important thing. Get get all the surfaces of the hands. Yes. It's got to be so fun going into schools and hearing children questions and so forth when they're talking about health. Tell me about some of your experiences. Well, our, uh, my most recent experience, uh, we had we have a program called the White Coat Seminar, and it's for 7th and 8th grade students. It's partnered with Hartford STEAM Academy mm-hmm. um, through Canton City Schools, and the students learn about different health careers for five weeks. So every week, a different hospital department comes to the school and teaches about their career, what they do. What type of education does it take to get into that department? And, mm-hmm. You know, stairs stepping your way through if you want to come in and entry level and take advantage of the tuition assistance and work your way up. You know, we let them know that that is a possibility as well. And at the end of the five weeks, the students are presented with a white lab coat. Oh, cool. And a medical careers textbook. And they get to tour all of the departments Mm -hmm. that they learned about. And it's such an exciting program. And that just ended um, November 22nd. What kind of a response do you see in the kids, the excitement that it's building in them? Oh, it, they are. So once they reach tour day, yes, they are so excited. They walk in, their eyes are lit up. And when you hand them that white coat and they put it on, you see their confidence Mm. shoot up. You know, they stand up a little straighter and they're taking selfies and <laughs> and it's just such a it. wonderful program. And and it's really a good time to really get the kids to start thinking about careers in seventh and eighth grades. So I love what you're doing. It's a wonderful program. And that make saying you said something a couple minutes ago, so important that it's possible. 
to let them know this is possible. Yes, yes. To get, this is not some kind of pie in the sky pipe dream. Right. You can do that. You apply yourself. This is what needs to be done. Mm-hmm. You can be doing this as a career. Yes, and we expose them to other careers because they know about doctors, they know mm-hmm. about nurses, but we teach them about physical therapists, yes. pharmacy, pharmacists, mm-hmm. pharmacy tech. Physician things. assistant seems yes. to be a big thing right now. Yes. So they learn about all those careers. Because you don't have to pay quite as much in, in um, you know, if you in case you make a mistake, all those extra fees that you pay to cover all that, like medi- the insurance. Right. The insurance. Yes. Right. That can be pretty hard on a doctor. But I, I think, can imagine. Yeah. But I think the uh, physician's assistants kind of get out from under that a little bit. Mm. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, Tanisha. <laughs> I won't. But this is, this is what I'm hearing out there. Anyway. <laughs> Some things are, are a little bit easier to atti- to acquire as well because yes. you don't have to be in school for quite as many years. Yes. But you really do have the same kinds of responsibilities. Right. Are the students just surprised at the number of things that they could do? They are. And they really get excited. So mm-hmm. you might have a student that thought they might be interested in dentistry. And once they circulate through the program and towards the end, they decide, you know, I think I want to work in the lab. Nice. You know, things like that. So Mm -hmm. it really opens up a world of possibilities for these students. Do you see it opening up possibilities for young women uh, who we are told after they reach a certain age, they start to do worse in science and math, that if they take a look at this, maybe this would motivate them to keep at those subjects a little bit longer? Yeah, I think times are changing now. With the science and math, and it's good to hear. A lot of more, a lot more girls interested. As a matter of fact, I believe the majority of the students in the white coat program this year were girls. Oh, say that we again. Didn't have a lot of boys. Oh my goodness. Well, we don't want to discourage the boys, right? right. <laughs> but that's but really awesome. To see so many, so many girls. That is exciting to see. Okay, that is the white coat seminar. You did that for seventh and eighth graders. Yes. Really cool. Very good time for them to start getting to make some plans for career yeah they you know they're not signing their life away but it's nice to get them thinking about it what other programs do you have that you take into the schools so what's going on tomorrow oh cool okay (laughs) we're having a dental assembly at allen elementary school in southeast canton nice and it's i believe that school is pre-k through second grade Mm. and we bring all the kids in the gym and a dentist and a certified dental assistant comes and they speak to the students about the importance of brushing their teeth and they do like a little flossing exercise and they sing a song they watch a cute little video cuz these you know these are small yes. small kids so you only have about 20 minutes <laughs> to get their attention right <laughs> so we have to keep it short but it's it's a really good program and at the end, they get a Christmas gift. And in the gift, there is a full-size tube of toothpaste, oh. an adult toothbrush, a child's toothbrush, and another, like, Christmas surprise. Oh, that makes brushing fun, doesn't so, it? Yes. Make it a gift. And they love it. Just to hear the <laughs> excitement in the little ones. And they go, yay, and they cheer for everything. It's just, it's a lot of fun. Well, it really I think makes they love assemblies, yeah. period. It brightens your day to see all the smiles. and It's funny because those particular smiles, have some holes in them, don't they? Isn't that about yes. the age where they're losing yes. their teeth? Yeah. So how fun to be teaching good dental hygiene as they're just going to be getting those adult teeth, too. Yes. But what we're really finding out, it's important to take care of baby teeth, too. Yes. More and more. Yes. More than we thought, right? Yes. That's something you found out when you get to sit in on these assemblies. Yeah, I learn a little bit every year. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Very cool. Um, do you have more programs that you're going to be taking into schools or some that people could call and say we'd like to have that come to our organization? Um, let's see here. So we have another one that's called the Well Women Health Seminar, and it's set up like a conference. And it's for middle school girls and ninth grade girls. Awesome. So they come in and they, they also learn about a different health topic every year. This year the topic is um, cyberbullying. And the dangers of vaping. And I know you've been watching the news. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal right now. And and it's pretty serious. These kids are vaping and they have no idea Mm -hmm. how their body is being affected by that. So this will be a huge one. 
That's a good place to yeah. take a pause. Uh, we're visiting with Tanisha James. She's the Mission Outreach Coordinator at Mercy Medical Center. We'll be back after these words. You're listening to Our Community.